and welcome to we run we're out to semi-finals time in Division One. I'm with the legend of the Port Districts Footy Club, Stephen Toasty Clay. How are you, Stephen? Good thanks, Darcy. Good in your view so far on the, the grand finals. We've done all the grand finals, the lower grades, and obviously the wrap up for Division Two Grand Final this week and it's all happening in Division One. Yeah. So a few weeks away yeah. There's been some upsets, there's oh, been some seen, uh, yes. been some upsets and there's also been some predictable uh, results, so it's footy, isn't it? It's uh, really alive, and I think it's uh, the same here with uh, the Div 1 results over the weekend too. So. Yeah, very healthy yeah. for the, the competition, because obviously you've seen some yeah, new clubs coming in off the Southern League, uh, getting elevated, and obviously um, sort of Brian Bombers up to Division 1 maybe, yep. we're not sure, for the first time in, in well, many years. Probably my so, lifetime. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. Only baby, but uh, we go. We head to the uh, the the, the third, uh, second semi final. Sorry, yep. we've got uh, Goo Saints taking Pam Royal Union. I reckon this was an upset to me. I reckon um, Pam will maybe come from fifth spot to in, in come the grand final. Yeah, I mean they they did it last year too. Yeah, they did. Uh, they, yep. they just love they love this pointy end of the season. Uh, they must love the weather. Maybe it's the, the smell in the air <laughs> out it. there. Um, but yeah, no, they they got the jockeys uh, over the weekend. So definitely a. Uh, Result for them. And by I said 33 points, it wasn't just a close game, it was no. um, a very good win in the end. So it was Payne Lord Union 12 12 84, defending Goody Saints at uh, 7 9 51. So obviously, Payne Lord must have choked the, the Goody Saints running running play on that small over, so you tie over. So yeah. obviously, you know, Payne over is a big over as well. So something must have done something to choke the, the Goody Saints running that over. But I yeah. tell you what, that's a great win by Payne Lord Union coming from the fifth spot. Mate, anything that happened in finals time has been seen before. Yeah, for sure. So, so we uh, had Paynham, uh, the goal yeah. kick is there. It was Davis uh, with four, Forster with two, Jolly, Nye, Ansel, Rook, uh, Gianni and Hansen all with uh, the singles. Uh, best players were Gianni, uh, Orcelia, Boisello, sorry, Nye, uh, Ansel and Davis. And for Grew Saints, who had a bit of a mad Monday yesterday, I'm presuming, was uh, Scar with two, Bay with two, Anderson, Oakley and Whaley, just individuals with uh, the best players, Heitman, Carter, Barry, Reardon, Gilling and Burgess. So, what a win to pay them. They are into the next game. So, we'll look at the next game, then we'll know who's, who's the who. So, this is probably another upset to me as well in, uh, in Division 1. Um, Ross Trevor, they've been the echelon all year. Not by far, only lost a couple of games in the year, I think. They've certainly been number one all year. Come on, took on Tetra Gully at Ross Trevor's Oval. And uh, look, it was 10 16 76 teacher game defending Ross Trevor 9 4 58. So uh, another good win there by nearly 20 points. Yeah, yeah. Was that, so that was played, uh, I believe, in Hectorville's Oval? Yeah, that's right. At Daily Oval. So um, I'm not sure how many Correct. times. Sorry, it wasn't home because obviously yeah. they're redoing um, Campbellton Oval there. Yeah, so I'm not sure how many times Ross Trevor actually played there before. I, I wouldn't have the stats, no. but uh, maybe maybe that was what got him in the end. Yeah, uh, that's it. So, I mean, they've been playing at Thebanon all year. And, yeah, T.G. Gully must have just loved the uh, conditions there, so uh, well done to them. But a bit of a shock, which therefore, which happened in this week's game is going to be, so obviously it will be Ross Trevor. So T.G. Gully straight in the grand final, so it's, it's yep. good for them. So obviously Ross Trevor taking on Payne Royal Union daily oval. So another big oval. So, um, gee whiz, this is going to be a crack of a game. We've seen yeah. Payne Royal Union, we said before, they've come from fifth spot last year to take to, they lost the grand final. Yep. So anything that happened this game, I'm still going to go for Ross Trevor by a absolute three points, I reckon. Yeah, that's uh, it's probably a good pick. Uh, I, I I don't know, it's it's quite hard. I, I might go the upset here, Darce. Uh, yeah, that, absolutely. Payne and, so. Payne and been playing some good footy. Mm. Uh, they do it at the uh, the point end of the season. So, yeah, maybe they'll, uh, I reckon they'll get the job done there with uh, Tommy Javor will love that I've said that. <laughs> and uh, old Nick Jolly, they'll, they'll, love, yeah. uh, they'll love the little plug there. So, um, yeah, no, I think they might uh, they might sneak in again. So you reckon straight sets for Ross Trevor? It's really hard to sort yeah. of say. As you said, you're when you say it like that, it doesn't <laughs> sound good, does it? <laughs> but I mean, we've seen Tetragali take on the might, and they've won, you know, by a fairly good margin. Yep. Payne Royal Union coming from fifth, hey, they're they're on fire as well. So yep. it's going to be one ball tear of a game, I reckon. And yep, for, sure. uh, for me, Ross Trevor and you, Payne Royal Union, is it? Yep. Yep. So yeah. So okay. that's it for Division One. What a cracking game it's going to be this week, and we'll see you next week to do the Division One Grand Final preview next Monday or next week.